Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is your friendly neighborhood, Oxhorn, and welcome to part two of vault building tips. In my last video, I showed off a few tips and tricks on how to get the vault pieces to work together well, and I got a lot of comments and feedback that I read and incorporated into this extra episode. So let's go through some new stuff that you might not have known and that I didn't cover in my last video. In my last video on this topic, I used these domestic three-ways as the primary unit to connect to bedrooms. And uh, readers commented saying that this actually was not the most efficient way of going about it. Uh, and you guys are right, so thank you for correcting me. Let me show you the right way to go about it. And the correct way is to use the hallway to doorway. Now there's two. There's the hall to doorway, which just turns a hall into a doorway. And the other one is called the hallway and doorway, and that allows the hallway to continue onward, but it opens up into a doorway over here. That saves us from having to build a, uh, an end cap. You see this doorway end cap here, which I built previously? Since we're no longer using the three-way, we don't need that. So let's get rid of that and then put the doorway back. And now we can put the door back. <clears throat> so they do have units for uh, having a hallway continue on and then one door off to the right. Let's quickly talk uh, uh, about the difference between the prefab and the hallway. So here you can see I'm using the hallway with window and this has a nice back wall it rounds up to the ceiling and then it has this safety line along the side. It feels like a hallway. The prefab is different. The floor goes flush all the way to the wall and, uh, and then it doesn't have a back wall. You actually have to build this domestic end cap to get there to be a wall there. These prefabs with windows or with solid walls are really designed for building large rooms using these domestic hallway tile sets. But if you're trying to build a hallway, then you want to make sure that you use the hall one instead of the prefab. So instead of the prefab, we're going to go to hallway with window because we want a window here. And notice how the yellow lines on the ground are different. The hallway with window has yellow lines on both sides, whereas the prefab has a yellow line only on one side because this was designed to keep on going uh, as, as part of a room. And using the hallway, you actually save on your settlement budget. So now I can get rid of that end cap, which I no longer need, and instead of using two different pieces, I just use one piece, the hallway with window, and there we go. Here's an example on how you can use the domestic prefab hallways and doorways. You see that in here I wanted an extra wide hallway, and so I used the prefab doorways and hallways, which don't end with a wall and a yellow line on the edge of the tile. The floor tile keeps on going, and that's because it's designed to connect to another prefab wall, which will have the terminating yellow line and wall. So use the prefab walls and doorways to make extra wide hallways that lead to other bedrooms and so forth, and then use the hallway doorways to make those single wide um, hallways. Now let's say you have a hallway that ends at a room. So the hallway comes to an end and turns the corner into a room. I was tempted to use this domestic corner. Uh, the problem with that, I mean, it looks nice. It, it has a nice corner and the yellow line goes along that final wall and it leads into here. But the problem with that is that I was forced to use a doorway end cap in order to get the buttons to appear. And as you can see, it's got graphical glitches <laughs> when I get too close and it's just one extra item. So um, if you want to avoid that and you still want your door to have buttons, don't use the domestic corner to turn a hallway into a room. Instead, use the uh, hallway and door piece. Hallway and doorway. Now the problem with this piece is 
it goes on. The hallway is designed to go on. <clears throat> so to fix that, you do have to use the hallway end cap piece. The wall end cap. And, uh, but this at least comes with the door with the buttons. So then all we have to do is add the door. And we no longer have this weird clipping issue on the inside there because we don't have that end cap uh, taking up more space. So the only drawback to this is it looks like we have this path that makes a blunt end right there instead of having a nice line that goes around the corner. And that's just because they didn't uh, provide us with a hallway corner doorway piece. So we got to build our own. Now here's an even trickier one. Here's a corner. So this hallway turns a corner, but before it does, it goes straight on into another bedroom. Uh, and to do that, we use the exact same tile. We've got the three-way door, or sorry, the domestic three-way. And um, the reason we use this one is because it does come with that back wall. So if we were to remove it we've uh, we've got the quarters over there that we're trying to close off we want to continue this hallway around the corner but we also want to make room for this door and yet the the tile set does not come with a piece that has a corner doorway like the domestic units have which is frustrating um, so you kind of got to build it yourself you can go to domestic three-way Make sure the wall is on the right side. But then we see that there's no buttons on this door. So we got to go to domestic. Doorway end cap. And then place the door. Gets it to work. Kind of hacky, but it does work. The vault tiles really like it when you have rooms across from rooms, and they make it easy to go about getting it set up. Here, let me get rid of that, just so that I can demonstrate. So what I have here is I have a hallway going straight, and then I've got two of these rooms, one across from each other, and I used the um, quarters tiles to build those rooms. But now I need to connect to the, to the, door, to the hallway, and the best way to do that is to use the hallway doors so there's the hall to doorway but we want the four way with doors and the reason for that is because here okay, let's place it and you see quickly why why we want that because it's got a continuing hallway lined by yellow and then on either side we've got these nice door buttons you see how it comes with the buttons that actually make the doors work? And then you can go to your doors. And you've got a, a continuing hallway with doors on either side. Let me show you a mistake I made in the past that I'm now going through and rectifying. When you're building your vault, you are at times going to be experimenting with different pieces just to get it to work. Here I used an atrium floor and an atrium wall. And notice how it doesn't have the metal baseboard and it doesn't have the yellow line. This is the wall bottom combination piece. This is a prefab and this is what it looks like. It's the combined wall and bottom and it has this metallic baseboard and the yellow line and it looks really awkward if you've got two side by side and they're trying to achieve the same thing but they look completely different so for this floor i'm actually going through and removing my atrium floor and window or my atrium floor and wall and replacing it with the combination wall and floor bottom. It just makes it look much nicer to have the floor have this yellow line and the metal. And then I'm using the inner corner bottom to turn the corner and to maintain this nice yellow line. Here's something you might not know. The power conduits actually snap to the outside 
of the utility and domestic hallways. And uh, that's how I actually get, it got my water to be powered. I snapped one of these to the outside of a connected utility hallway that's connected to a reactor. And then I just wired across pylons to get to my water purifier. Now, that doesn't work for stairways, which is why you see this weird wiring up here. I then wired across the top here and over to these stairways right here so that the stairways can receive light. These stairways, the ones that go steep up and down, you can't snap a powered conduit onto the side. I'll show you. Here you see, it's not one to snap, but that snaps just fine. So if you wanna get uh, lights inside your hallway, you're gonna have to put one on the outside of a straight hallway and then wire across the top of a utility or domestic stairs so that you can light the inside like this. In my last video on this topic, I actually showed you a more complicated way of connecting one room to another room. And uh, many of my viewers uh, corrected me in the comments. So thank you for that. Let me show you the right way to go about it. So what I did previously is I said to put down a room mid piece, which just consists of a floor and ceiling, then go to domestic doorway end cap and place your door that way. And this does work, but as you can see, it leaves this ugly seam over there and uh, the door frame doesn't match these walls and you end up using more pieces than you need to. So what you can instead do, which is of course obvious, is go to the rooms, go to the school, school unit or whatever unit you need, and then instead of snapping a domestic hallway piece to it, snap this standalone school wall doorway. That's gonna snap really well to this other school doorway that you've got. And then you can go ahead and add your door. And you don't use that extra piece, which is gonna save you on your settlement budget. All right, so you just finished your two rooms and you want one window in this room to open out into a window in the other room. So you've got your two window pieces and you snap them side by side, but then you go to your doors and windows section, you grab a window and it doesn't want to snap. So that's a bummer. But the way to get around that is to move one of the walls temporarily, put the window in only that one, and then snap the other wall back down. This is gonna give you a single pane of glass between the two windows, which is gonna give the illusion that they both have windows when they don't really need windows. There you go. There you have it, ladies and gents, a short part two video on tips to using vault pieces. I will, of course, make many more of these as I get more tips and ideas. And if you've got any tips that you would like me to share with my viewers, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to share your awesome ideas. I don't think I ever want to go up top again, Overseer. That's great insight. I'm glad this that you appreciate it. delicious. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you uh, learned something from this video, please subscribe for more videos like this. And uh, if you don't feel like I've earned your subscription yet, let me know in the comments what I can do to earn it so that all of my future content is top notch. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.